Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I want to answer the question, where do you buy your art supplies? So there's five places and I'm going to jump right into them uh, so I can tell you where I get my stuff, my, my supplies for the paintings that I do. Um, one thing I want to say is that this is coming from the perspective of doing, you know, mostly gloss enamel paintings. Um, but if you've watched any of my videos and kind of wondered where I've gotten stuff and I've gotten asked, you know, over the past couple of years where I get stuff, I'm going to answer that. Okay. So the first place is craft stores. Um, I actually use Michael's. Michael's is out here in Arizona. I don't know where it else, you know, where it is anywhere else. Um, but Michael's is just a craft store like Joanne's Fabrics or uh, Hobby Lobby, basically like that. Uh, Michael's is kind of my go-to for simple stuff. So I buy canvas from there because they usually run sales on it. Um, I use it to get the, the paper. So like these, these paper pads, um, they tend to have sales on it for paper pads as well. So they'll do like buy one, get one free or at least half off. Um, so I like buying it then. Um, also I get the Blick paint or sorry, the Liquitex paint there. Um, they have, varnish usually. So a lot of the, the simple stuff that I can just kind of pick up whenever I need, um, I actually get from Michael's. So I get it from the craft store because it's easiest to just kind of go and get that stuff whenever uh, it's on sale or whenever I have some extra money or some extra time or something like that. So uh, that's, that's the first place I go. The second place is art stores. Now, there's not a lot of art stores near me like that have a lot of art supplies. Both of the ones that are like closest to me are like an hour away, so I don't go very often. Um, I when I go, it has to be with a like a decent amount of money so that it can justify me going all the way out there, um, or if I need something very specific. So uh, some of the things that so there's one like called Arizona Art Supply, which is just a oh I think a one off shop, and then there's Blick. So Blick actually has a website. I think it's just Blick.com or Dick Blick or something like that and Blick is like a chain and they actually have a lot of good art supplies and they actually have their own line of products that is actually relatively uh, pretty good quality products so I like Blick because they usually don't have sales but they have a lot of stuff so if I'm looking for something that I can't find either you know at a craft store or just locally then I will go to Blick to get it so an example of something that I get from there which I can't get to right away is uh, unstretched or or rolled canvas. So if I want to do canvas on stretched paintings, you know, if um if it's not on a frame, but it's you know just a flat canvas, I actually like getting that from Blick because I can actually cut as much as I want. Um, you can actually just buy it by the yard, um, or you know you can buy the whole roll of it. But they also have a lot of other things like they have bigger things like they have nice frames they have bigger pieces of paper like that you can paint on you know and the biggest thing that I like to get from them is if I get acrylic paint they actually have a huge selection of acrylic paint so I use those two things the craft store and the art store um whenever I can get it whenever I need something right away so that's where I get a lot of my stuff for the the main things that I tend to do um, because it's there, the craft store is right down the street and the art store is, you know, if I need it that day, I can drive out an hour, get that stuff and come back. So those are where I get it locally. And that's where I kind of get my, my basic stuff. Um, and also my acrylic paint. So if I do use acrylic, I just get it from, you know, the craft store or from Blick. So if the craft store doesn't have it, I go to Blick. Um, but Michael's is kind of my go-to because they almost always have sales on stuff. So I can usually get canvas or paper or paint or varnish, whatever on sale. So that is where those are the kind of like my main two staples. Now let's get into some of the niche things. So the next place is the paint store, right? And so this paint that I use, gloss enamel, I've explained it a couple of times, but I still get a lot of questions about it, especially from new subscribers. So the paint that I use that is an acrylic that comes in one of these is gloss enamel or high gloss paint or alkyd paint. It goes by different names, but essentially it's it's gloss enamel, high gloss paint. Um, 
So this I actually get from a paint store. I actually have to go to a paint store and order this specific type of paint. So I actually go to a paint store and they have a line that is gloss enamel. So then I just pick out my colors. The one thing I really like about gloss enamel is that I can pretty much pick almost any color I want as opposed to, you know, acrylic, which is limited to the colors that are made by the manufacturer. Now, of course, you can mix those colors, but right out the gate, I can just get almost the colors I want there or they can color match. So that's why I like gloss enamel. I use a company called Dunn Edwards. Dunn Edwards is a, it's a company, a paint company out here in the Southwest US. I don't know where they are elsewhere. So I couldn't tell you if, if it, there's one near you. However, other paint companies, some of them do gloss enamel, some of them don't. So you'd actually have to check your local paint stores to see if they even do that. I don't know if Sherwin William does, um, I've never, really asked. So um, I don't know about some of the other major brands. I just know that Don Edwards does and a couple of other ones that you can actually find in department stores, um, which kind of leads me to my next one. So the fourth place is hardware stores or department stores. So hardware stores, I have found gloss enamel paint there. It's also where I get my metallic paint. So I use gold and silver PPG metallics almost all the time because I love gold and silver. So I actually get that at Home Depot. So if you're ever looking for that type of paint that came from a hardware store. Um, also, I for the hardware stuff, I also get some of my tools there. So the plastic scrapers that I use, like the, dry, the drywall scrapers, those are from the from hardware store, either Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that. Also the sheets of plexiglass. I've been getting asking, I've been getting questions about the plexiglass. This is from Home Depot. This is a 12 by 24, I believe. And it's like eight bucks, 10 bucks, 15. I don't remember what it was, but it's less than $20, right? So it's, it's really not that expensive uh, for a small sheet of plexiglass to do scrape paintings. So that is from a hardware store. Um, and then just some other small random things um, that I might use, like spray bottles or, you know, the trowels or rulers, whatever it is. Uh, a lot of that comes from the hardware store. So those are the four main ones. Lastly is online. So, yes, I do shop online. I've bought stuff from Blick online. I've used uh, Jerry's Artorama and I've used... Um, I think there was another art store, but I can't remember what it was. And then lastly, I've used Amazon. So really shopping online is up to you. And if you like to shop online, I'm going to say the easiest place. And I hate to say this because I don't like supporting Amazon necessarily. It's not that I don't like supporting them. It's just they're already so big. I like supporting smaller companies. But Amazon has almost everything you could ever need from any of these supplies. So if you need canvas or if you need paint or if you need the scrapers, if you need plexiglass, if you need any of that stuff, you can find it on Amazon and conveniently buy it all together at one place. Um, like I said, I've used Jerry's Art Araba. They're okay priced. Some of their products aren't that great. I've, I've gotten some of the canvas and stuff through them and it wasn't high quality, which it's fine. I mean, I, I got it real cheap. So, I mean, you, you, you get what you pay for, essentially. Um, but there are other sites out there. So, I mean, you can definitely check them out. But if you already use Amazon and you plan on buying a bunch of supplies, the easiest thing, unfortunately, is just to go straight to Amazon and kind of put those into a cart and buy everything at once. Um, so, I mean, it's totally up to you. And like I said, I've, I've used them. And the thing with Amazon is they'll a lot of times have the lowest prices compared to other places. However, if you shop at other websites, a lot of times you can find a coupon to apply to it to get the price down. So that's up to you. And I will say that if you want to support the channel, if you're going to buy anything on Amazon, there are some links in the description area. Uh, if you buy them through those links, they're affiliate links. So what happens is, is if you buy any products through Amazon through the links in the description. It actually generates a commission for me. It's not a lot. It's cents to a, a dollar, a couple dollars, whatever, but it, it helps. And it, I just pour all that right back into it. So those just as a heads up, they are affiliate links. But if you want to support the channel, you know, and you're going to buy anything on Amazon, you can use the links below. You could use, even use those links to get to Amazon and then buy other things that are related to the art. But that, that's only if you want to support me. So anyway, lastly, 
my point, so that those are the five places, um, you know, the craft stores, the art stores, the hardware stores, the paint store, and then online. Essentially, my kind of flow for deciding where I'm going to go is I start local. So if I can get it from Michael's or a craft store, then I will, because usually I can, I can go there in 20 minutes, run up there, get what I need and come back. The problem with craft stores is that the selection is usually limited. So I have to be going for a very generic thing like canvas or paper or something like that. Then if they don't have it and I really need something uh, like a, like a set of paint that I really don't have, then I'll go out on my way to the store because I can go get that stuff in a couple hours and still come home and paint without having to wait, you know, a couple days for the shipping. So I always try to start local. And then if I can't get it locally, then I will, you know, get it wherever else I need to. The paint is always from the paint store, the hardware stuff. I'll just run up to Home Depot, which is half an hour away. Lastly is Amazon. So Amazon is kind of my last resort if I can't get anywhere else. But some people just really love shopping online. So if that's easiest for you, go for it. Um, but like I said, there um, there's also Jerry's Autorama if you want to check them out. Blick.com is also an option. And I think it's called Cheap Joe or Joe Art or Art Joe, Cheap Art Joe, <laughs> something like that. It's, it's something like that. Something I believe with the name Joe and maybe Cheap or Art or something in the name is also like a website that I've used that I don't remember what my experience was. So I can't honestly give that to you, but it is out there if you want to check them out just to kind of price match. So anyways, that is it. Just wanted to throw this video out there because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. And I just really want to hopefully help you guys uh, kind of figure out where to get the stuff that you need to do your painting. So anyways, I appreciate you watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. God bless. All that cool stuff. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys.